Thank you, thank you. I got to tell you guys, that was a beautiful New York welcome. I was in New York City three years ago. No nice welcomes. I got off the bus at the Port Authority. I was all happy. I said, oh, New York City at last. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> this whole bus station stinks. <laughs> nah, it'll probably clear up when I get outside. <laughs> Every two blocks, I smell something I never smelled before in my life. <laughs> Nobody told me black people can't catch cabs in New York. I tried to catch a cab at the Port Authority. A crowd started forming. Everyone just looking at me. Uh, he's gonna be disappointed. I was all naive. I just taxi. <laughs> hmm. Must not have seen me. Taxi. No Brooklyn. <laughs> hmm. First time I caught a cab on the first try, it scared the hell out of me. I don't know how to feel about it. I just, taxi. <gasps> uh, you better go ahead. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to say that being black is all bad. We got our perks. Like, you guys, uh, take terrorism, for example. That's pretty good. A terrorist has never taken a black hostage in the history of the world. <laughs> you will never see a black guy on the news reading one of those letters. They is treating us good. Never. It's true. You know why they don't take black hostages? Why? Because we're bad bargaining chips. They would call up the White House, hello, we have got five black people, and we will, hello? <laughs> now don't tense up for me, I want you guys to think I'm like an angry black guy. I mean, I am an angry black guy, but you know what I mean? I have a right to be an angry black guy, though. It's different for me. See, I don't know if you guys believe in reincarnation or not, but I have been black four lives in a row. <laughs> I need a break. <laughs> you know, I mean, when I was younger, I was real angry. Like, you wouldn't know looking at me, you'd say, what a nice looking guy. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> well, I got suspended from junior high school 23 times during February. <laughs> I was right. One time I got hold of all my teachers' home phone numbers. Now, I feel bad about it now, but at the time it was hilarious. I started calling in death threats. I called my English teacher, Mr. Johnson. He was all nice. He just, hello. Is this Mr. Johnson? Uh, yes, it is. And who might this be? You're a dead man. <laughs> who is this? Don't worry about that, punk. You're going to die. Unless you change David Chappelle's grades. Click. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You get older, though, you start seeing things for what they are. See, I'm not angry anymore. I think it's more a paranoia. I'm what they call a racially paranoid person. You know what I mean? Like, I just started eating chicken in front of white people like three weeks ago. <laughs> I'm very proud to say. Before, I was too scared. I know it sounds crazy. I always thought you might say something. Like I'd be eating some chicken. <gasps> <laughs> Look at him. He loves it. <laughs> Just like it's in the encyclopedia. <laughs> they love chicken. <laughs> oh, easy. Don't lay up too much. We got stereotypes for white people, too. <laughs> this one is kind of crazy. I hope you don't get mad. Don't be mad. When I was little, I used to think that all white people, don't get angry. <laughs> I thought all white people were 
were happy. <laughs> just to be what? I know it sounds silly, man. I thought you guys just walked around. Hallelujah, I'm white. <laughs> this is wonderful. I feel like I'm king of the hill, top of the heap, <laughs> A number one. Taxi. <laughs> just checking. Go ahead. <laughs> Everybody. Hey guys, hey everybody. Boy, this is this is weird. I haven't done any stand-up on a TV for a while. I, I hate doing stand-up. Don't take it the wrong way. I just uh I hate microphones. I hate holding them. I hate dealing with them. I hate talking to them. I worked at Burger King for three years, man. <laughs> I didn't work the mic, though. I worked the grill. It's just the the guy that worked the mic used to drive me crazy. Every time someone orders something, hi, yeah, let me have a, let me have a Whopper with cheese. Sure. Whopper with cheese? It's like, you son of a bitch, I'm right behind you. <laughs> Just turn around and ask me for a Whopper with cheese. Yeah. <sighs> it's weird being on TV. You know the funny thing about TV now? Now tell me if this is just me, or do you guys notice this? Is it me? Or do commercials have nothing to do with the products nowadays? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Am I right? I'm serious. I don't even know what a commercial is about until they say at the end. Anyone seen a commercial with the lady with the black eye? She got a black eye and she's crying and, and she's like, I smoke crack and my husband beats me. Then a voice came on and said, Got milk? I was like, what the hell does milk have to do with this? <laughs> but this is interesting. I was in uh, I was in San Francisco over the weekend, you know, just doing a gig, and uh, my friends live up there. They said, Dave, have you seen the sights? I said, nah. They said, well, great. Let's go see Alcatraz this afternoon. What kind of black man in his right mind would visit a prison for recreation? <laughs> I got friends in jail I don't visit. <laughs> I'm scared of jail. I'm scared of anything that has to do with jail, like police. I don't deal with police. Not even when I need them. I don't call them. <laughs> My house got robbed last year. I didn't call the police, because you know what's going to happen. As soon as I open the door, they'd be like, oh, he's still here. <laughs> open and shut case. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, don't get me the wrong way, man. I mean, police are good people, man. I like everybody. <laughs> I do, man. Some people say I do too much uh, ethnic material. This is a true story, though. I, I was mugged by a white guy one time. <laughs> I never saw it coming. He, uh... <laughs> you got the time? Huh? Listen. <laughs> I gave my wallet, he said, who's gonna believe ya? <laughs> I get uncomfortable doing ethnic humor sometimes because it's getting too bad out there. People are taking it too seriously, man. Uh, I found myself the other day being racist against myself. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because I heard about this court case. It's like an ongoing court case. This guy was suing a department store because they wouldn't let him play Santa Claus because he was black. And, and this is weird. I know. I found myself being happy when they beat that guy. <laughs> I mean, that's weird. I, just, I guess in my mind, I just wasn't ready for the idea of a black Santa Claus. It was too much for me. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't get our presents to the 28th, 29th. <laughs> oh, sorry I'm late, kids. Santa got caught up with some girlies in Vegas. <laughs> I had to sell some toys to get back, you know. <laughs> These are jokes. <laughs> These are jokes. 
newsletter. Thank you. Y'all know what that is? Well, ain't no water. That's right. That is a Negro spiritual. See, slaves were smart people, man. They wrote songs they could sing with their mouths closed. Because they knew it would drive their masters crazy. Mm -hmm. Which one of you Negroes is singing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, that's funny. That's a, see, it's different. It's different for you guys, because, uh, you know, white people, you guys whistle when you work. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> see, that's how you can tell what kind of work we're doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, everybody.